Hey everyone, Steve the Nortel Guy. Welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to be wiring my BCM50. So this unit right over here, BCM50. Um, well, so normally you would say, okay, yeah, you take and you get an Amphenol cable and you, you take the wires from that and you spread them out on the 66 block. But a lot of you probably said, well, but do I need to use a 66 block? What if I don't want to use this kind of interface? Can I use a patch panel? And the short answer is yes, and that's what I'm going to do here. There is one gotcha. The 66 block has enough spots for all 50 wires on here. The patch panel, however, only has 24 places where you can punch down a single pair. Now, you could say, well, I'll just double up on one jack. Well, that doesn't work because none, it doesn't work easily, let me put it that way, because none of the applications of the individual pairs call for two pairs to be put on one RJ. So, there is a little bit of good news though, if you go and you look up the BCM50 wiring diagram, you will notice that the, it's the red-brown pair is not used. So even though you do need all 25 connections, that middle one, the red-brown, does not need to be used, so you can just leave that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and flip it over, I'm going to take this and fan it out, and I'm going to start punching the first set of pairs all the way to the red-brown, and then stop, or I won't punch the red-brown, then I'll take from the other end with the violet, the violet blue, or the violet slate, which is the very last pair, start punching down the other way. And then that will allow me to have all 24 connections that I need for the BCM50, except the red-brown, which is not a needed connection. Then that will give me a very nice, easy way to plug and unplug connections if you're not somebody who likes to do the whole, you know, punch-down tool and the little wires and all that. You know, I mean, I don't mind doing that because I'm a telecom guy. But especially if I was an IT person, I would be like, can I get away from this and just use this? All right, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so to make my life easier, rather than crawl around in the tight space behind there, I'm just going to take this panel and turn it around and do the terminations with it facing me. Now these are some used uh, panels that I got from somewhere, so I think I might need to do some cleanup here. They probably have some tails. Yeah, they still got some tails on them from when they were deinstalled. This was just a bunch of Cat6 and Cat5e cables that were on here, so I'm going to have to spend a few minutes pulling these off, get these cleaned up, and then I'm going to take this Amphenol right here. And you can see how I had, I had previously just put a few uh, Keystone jacks on the pairs I needed, but because I want to be able to have this in my lab for lots of versatility, I'm going to take this, this uh, Amphenol 50 pair, I mean 25 pair, and fan it out, like I said. All right, so as far as dressing goes, I'm probably not the best person in the world to, to give you advice on this, but what I decided to do was to come in from this side because what will happen is when I flip it around, that'll put this part of the cable on the inside of the rack, which keeps it more concealed than if it was on this side. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cinch down here, and then I'm going to leave enough slack so that my furthest pair, which would be my, my blue and my orange, can reach down here. Then what I'll end up doing is I'll put one here in the middle and I will basically strip the cable back to the center and then I'll be pulling my violets you know all the way back like that. So they'll be they'll be the, the basically they'll be doing a pair pin from here back to here. So that's that's my plan as I see it right now. All right, I think I got it. Now, before I start cutting down with my 110 punch tool, I always like to go through and just do one more sanity check. So what I'll do is I'll start, because remember, we've got, you got one, two, three, four, so they're stacked. One, two, three, four, five, six. So blue, orange, green, brown, slate, red, blue, orange, green. And then remember, we're skipping the brown. Okay, so then now we go to slate. And then now we're on black, blue, orange, green, brown, slate, yellow, blue, orange, green, brown, slate, and then violet, blue, orange, green, brown, slate. All right, let's start cutting. And then we'll flip it around, plug it into the BCM, and plug it in some lines and some, well, at least one phone I have here. 
So anyway, some of you might have been wondering, like, hey, Steve, it's been like a long time since you've made a video. Well, Nortel Guy is not my full-time gig anymore. So um, I'm more of an IT and VoIP guy now. So, But I still kind of do this a little bit as a hobby, and I had this BCM50 kicking around, and, I, and this is my lab. I have a lab office, and I said, well, why don't we just set this up in my lab, and then we can connect VoIP lines to it and play with that. And uh, who knows, maybe in the process, make some BCM videos. Maybe that'll help some of you guys out. Anyway, all right. Well, I'm going to finish getting these all cut down, and then we'll flip it around and uh, do what I said, plug some stuff into it. All right, we're back. So this is that panel I punched down on. All right. So with BCMs, the stations kind of wire backwards. The stations go at the very end on the uh, violet slate and work their way backwards. And then the um, the uh, CO lines are down here on pairs, uh, the first two pair. Anyway, so here's my phone plugged in. So this should be station feature stars. This should be 221. Okay, so there's 221 down here. And then I don't have any lines on here yet, right? So if I hit line one, if I hit line two. So here is a line with dial tone on it. Plug it into spot one. And let's see, I didn't rehearse this, so hopefully, no, no dial tone. Let's see, is that not a line? Maybe that's not a line. Let's try this one. Maybe I had the wrong line cord. They all look the same to me. All right, let's try this one. Let's see if this is it. Okay, there, let's try line one. There we go, dial tone. Now see, now, now this is the beauty of it. If I want to just move that to line two, you know, into line two position, then move to line two position. Anyway, so that's the cool thing about using a patch panels. It just gives you a lot of versatility. In, in fact, actually, now that I was wrapping this up, I remember Nortel actually made a battleship gray panel just for this uh, with an Amphenol tail that connected to the BCM, and it had labels for, like, the stations 1 through 8, and there's a spot where you can hook up the paging and the music on hold and the lines. So we may get into that later. But anyway, I was just doing that. I thought you might find that interesting if you've ever wondered if you could wire up a... Uh, BCM onto a uh, patch panel, and you certainly can. All right. Thanks for watching.